high quality care and education for infants and toddlers begins with relationship based care. Primary caregiving is a relationship based practice and is the practice of assigning each child and family to a caregiver who will serve as a primary source of information and care for the child. Primary caregiving enables caregivers to develop deep relationships with children and their families and offers opportunities to provide individualized care and interactions during daily routines and experiences. This focused care by a familiar adult can provide infants and toddlers with a sense of predictability and security that comes with knowing each child's unique needs and preferences. Primary caregiving does not mean that caregivers care only for their small group of children to the exclusion of the other children in the group. Rather, it means that each caregiver, to the extent possible and practical in a group care situation, cares for and responds to children's routine care needs, such as eating, toileting, diapering, sleeping, who are assigned to them. However, caregivers also work as a team and rely on each other as backup when they are not able to work directly with their particular children. For example, if a caregiver is busy changing one child's diaper, the other caregivers in the room still continue to provide care for the other children until the primary caregiver returns. Another reason why primary caregiving should be conceptualized as a team effort rather than exclusive care is when a primary caregiver is not able to work, for example, sickness, vacation, etc. It is imperative for all the caregivers to have respectful relationships and establish trust with all of the children, even those children outside of their primary care assignment. Of equal importance, parents and other family members know who has primary responsibility for their child. This can strengthen the parent-caregiver relationship and communication between home and the child care program. While primary caregiving is a common practice in the U.S., it is not a commonly implemented practice worldwide, even in highly developed countries. In Singapore, for example, primary caregiving is not frequently practiced with infants and toddlers. However, in a different study with parents of children under three years of age in Singapore, most parents expressed wanting to have their child cared for by the same caregiver, and parents in programs that did implement primary caregiving reported high levels of satisfaction with the practice. Despite the strong recognition of the importance of primary caregiving from organizations such as Zero to Three, the Program for Infant and Toddler Care, PITC, and the National Association for the Education of Young Children, NAEYC, there is very little empirical evidence directly investigating primary caregiving as a practice. The research that is used to justify the importance of primary caregiving comes mainly from empirical explorations into the development of attachment. Since primary caregiving is a practice that encourages the development of a secure attachment between caregivers and children, it is often assumed that primary caregiving would also support the positive developmental outcomes associated with secure attachment. Attachment and primary caregiving. Attachment theory was developed by John Bowlby in the 20th century to understand an infant's reaction to the short-term loss of their caregiver. Bowlby proposed that children are pre-programmed from birth to develop attachments and maintain proximity to their primary attachment figures, who was typically their mother but could also be any person assuming the role of caregiver for that child. He used the term attachment in a conscious effort to move away from deficit terms such as dependency or over-dependency, which were historically used to explain what Bowlby coined as attachment behaviors. Defined as seeking and maintaining proximity to another individual, attachment behaviors allow infants and toddlers to stay close to their attachment figure by either demonstrating signaling behaviors such as crying and smiling or approach behaviors such as following and clinging. The research on attachment relationships has important implications for supporting the implementation of primary caregiving. The first year of life is considered a critical period for attachment development, and infants and toddlers require a secure base in childcare settings, in addition to the home setting, to develop secure attachments. It is critical that caregivers understand the importance of secure relationships and their impact on children's future well-being. Instead of a single primary attachment figure, 
children need access to consistently available attachment figures who can include a combination of their mother, father, or paid caregivers. As a result of a network of attachment figures, a child secure base is maintained when separating from a specific attachment figure. Decades of longitudinal research have supported the notion that individual differences in children's attachment security to primary caregivers are of critical importance for children's social, emotional, and cognitive development. Several meta-analyses suggest that variations in attachment security are associated with individual differences in a range of child outcomes. Higher attachment security, as compared to insecurity, is associated with greater social skills, emotion understanding, quality of peer relationships, language ability, as well as fewer internalizing and externalizing challenging behaviors. Furthermore, attachment security during the first three years of life is related to later brain development. Conclusion If high quality care and education for infants and toddlers begins with relationship based care, then primary caregiving is a critical practice for all child care programs to adopt and support. Primary caregiving encourages the development of a secure attachment, which is related to various positive developmental outcomes. Furthermore, Primary caregiving can strengthen the relationship between caregivers and parents.